it's Sunday. It's the 15th of April. I don't have the chat up on my screen, so hopefully I'll get a couple of seconds to find that before anybody comes in and I need to say good morning. You will have to be patient with me this morning. I've got the sniffles. Poor bee. Poor, poor bee with my sniffles. Started yesterday with a bit of a prickly sore throat. I was like, I'm going to be poorly sick. And sure enough, I am poorly sick. So there we go. Uh, oh, people are coming in and I can't get it up on my screen. So you will have to be patient with me, guys. And I will come and say good morning in a second. Bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. It's not there. Why is it not there? Why does it do this? Why? Why does it do this? Why? Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well this morning. Oh, God, now I've managed to go into my YouTube settings. Now I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, Dello. Dello, Adam. Adub. You Adub, a J-sub, a carry. I'll try not to be too snotty. I really can't find it on the screen. It's not going to be a good day. It's not going to be good. I found it. I found it. Right. I found it. Oh, look at the state of my fringe. Right, let's have a look. Who have we got? Uh, Fandria was first in. Good morning, Fandria. <laughs> uh, Joy's Crafty Box. Mizu Tech. Amy. Missy Moo. Crispy. Adub. Carrie. Uh, Nora. Shell Struni. Saz Guest. Uh, Jason Entwistle. I think I said Carrie already. Karen. No crust, just more. Uh, so, thank you. Saz Guest says, sorry, you're poorly well done for braving the car boot. I was a good girl. I was. Um, shelf behind you looks empty. Did you not get out? I did get out. It's down here on the floor. It's going to go on the shelf afterwards. So I normally do it that way round. Don't, I don't know why I did it this way round today. Just to keep you, but keep you guessing. Uh, BCP's in electronic firing squad. Good morning. How are you? Uh, it's five a.m. where I am. I haven't been to bed yet. I'm fresh off an almost two month YouTube break. Yes, I'm still happy as heck to catch your live for a change. It's nice to see you, Brian. Why have you had a YouTube break? Was it enforced? Did they throw you off, or have you just um, decided you were doing too much of it? I must admit, I spend too much time watching YouTube videos, not enough time working. Claire King, Robin, Claire James, I'm full of Claire's this morning. Girly whirly. Good morning, everyone. I am snotty. I may have to disappear and find a tissue in a minute because as I sat down, I thought, do I need a tissue? I'm like, no, I'm okay. I'm not okay. Bear with. I've got a tissue. I've got a tissue full by dose. <laughs> I'm one of the world's worst um, patients as well. I sat in bed last night. Natalie came over from work and she came in and I was like, I die in. She was like, you're not done. I am. I die in. I, I'm poorly sick. I die in. I might be dead by morning. Will you miss me? <laughs> Karen, I've just literally just started. I haven't even started doing my um, doing my haul yet. Uh, Crispy's in. Kirsten's in. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So... It was worth getting up and going, although I did that thing. Have you ever cursed yourself? You start off really, really well. Good morning, Lucy Kingman. You start off really well. You buy loads of good stuff, and you start to wonder if you're going to run out of money. You start to panic that you'll run out of money, and from that point on, you can't see anything worth buying. It's very strange. I find it works that way, and also, if I go back to the car and dump a load of stuff, when I come back on my second trip, I never buy anything, and I don't know why that is. I don't know why it is. It's as if I've tempted the... the good stuff gods into into bitching on me <laughs> so i bought this now this was uh th i think i blowed if i can remember whether i paid three pounds or two i think i paid three and the reason i bought it is because it's boxed it's a lilliput lane brian says a bit of it all been busy as ever taxes to tackle and it's poorly again oh god brian i'm really sorry to hear that yeah sorry to hear that mate keep on fighting keep on trucking uh, Paul Mary's in Curly Chloe. I'm sorry if I missed anyone, by the way. I did hopefully go through and get everybody. Good morning, Heather. Um, so, yeah, this was, I, I've either paid three or two. I think it was three. We're going to say three. I'm going to. I, I think it was three. And it's a Lilliput Lane cottage, and it's called the Golden Jubilee. So there's your there's your front door of your cottage, and then at the back it's all set up. I think it's actually a really, really pretty one. I don't normally like this kind of thing. I'm not a very ornament person. I don't do it. I don't dust. I don't enjoy dusting. And the more ornaments you have, the more it shows that you don't enjoy dusting. <laughs> um, so it has all it's a 2002 anniversary cottage celebrating the coronation. It has all its little burbles in there. It has its base packing in the box for it to sit in, but it doesn't have the top bit that you would then um, put on top of, you know, to pack it in. So that would be some careful packing. Um, how if I've, sorry if I've missed anyone coming in. Adam Kelsey said dog, so I'm presuming one of my dogs just wandered past. Yeah, there's Buddy standing in that doorway. <laughs> good morning, Phoebe. Um, good morning, Sib K. I'm sorry again. Sorry if I've missed anyone. And I'm sorry for the sniffles. 
So, yeah, so I paid either two or three. I think we're going to say three. I've just had a quick look on completers and solds, and one box in this condition I should be able to get around about 30 to 35 for. So I was quite pleased. There's somebody trying to get 45. I think they're um, I think they're stretching a point. But yeah, 30 to 35 on that one will do me nicely. Pleased with that. And then I was hey big spender this morning because um, these were oh good morning. <laughs> Sib K is now Sib K. That's an amazing username. That's Monsieur Sibibus Kawumbe. Good morning, Sibibus Kawumbe. Bonjour, Monsieur. Hello from bed, finally caught you live. Uh, been a long time once because you don't get up early enough. <laughs> and um, if I don't, if I, I'm sure I haven't missed anyone. I'm sorry if I have, it's not deliberate. Carmen got herself a free granny trolley yesterday from a house clearance of chocolate and skip. Brilliant. Curry Chloe, you usually walk past them. Is that, is that the cottages? Yeah, it's, I've never bought one before. I know other people have had luck with them. Is that if it was just, it was, she got out of the box and it was quite pretty. I, enjoy, I liked the jubilee scene on it you know going on grumpy's there good morning okay and john Breddy's in so my big spender bit of the morning these were she wanted 15 on the kipling and 10 on the calf kidston and i gave her 20 for the two the kipling i should be able to bring in 25 on i hope this one might be a bit of a fail apparently the green spot is not a particular particularly popular print try saying that when you're pissed it's not a particularly popular print um, and some of these have gone for as little as three quid. So I will not put it on for three quid. I will try hard. Yeah, my mum, my mum pinched my granny trolley curly clue and I had to buy a new one. So, um, yeah, so you know, 20 quid for the two. I'll, I'll make my money back on the Kipling. But, um, meh, 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 meh. Good morning, Suzanne. That'll fall off there in a second. Oh, sorry, we'll have a, bear with me, we'll have a slurp. Oh dear, I hate being poorly. I'm not a good patient at all. I'm an impatient patient. I want to get better quicker. I bought a tiny little package of Littlest Pet Shop. These were two pounds. She would not budge on price. She said, no, because I'm fundraising. I thought, well, okay. And in fairness, some of them, they may be worthless. I have sold a single Littlest Pet Shop dog before now for uh 40 odd quid which was nice but i don't see him in this little package but there are dogs cats a rabbit or two and i paid two quid for all of those if you can see them there's about six or seven in there so i'll get definitely get my money back on them but i don't think there's any of the big valuable ones in there oh, sorry 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 for it there's not even anything to blow it just tickles and sniffles useless useless cold and again not something i would normally buy they're framed i think they're prints although without taking one of them out of the frame i can't be sure and they're moomins moomins are very popular in a kind of nostalgic kind of way if you find the moomins books they sell really well so they're worth picking up so when i saw these I thought, oh i wonder you know they should only want 50p each for them i just thought i'd spring on them and give them a chance but whether or not i have made a boo-boo i do not know I don't know if I can get them out and see I don't know I, again they're, they're double sided so were they were they prints originally or were they cut out from something who knows but I paid three quid I will list them we will see we shall see oh my goodness electronic fire has got Brian has just um, super chatted ten pounds uh, sorry, $10, because he's in America. You need some RRR to tackle that called rest and Reese's, of course. That's what I need, rest and Reese's. <laughs> they should prescribe Reese's on the um, on the National Health Service for poorly people. they make you feel better. Thank you very much, Brian. That was lovely. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I can't get this closed again now. You see what happens when you start messing with stuff. Corinne Chloe says, my dad used to say Vicks was the cure for anything. Now, I'm told that you put Vicks on the soles of your feet and then you put socks on. And then off you go to bed at night and in the morning you wake up fine. But I didn't, it didn't occur to me to do that last night. Perhaps I should have done. Then we'd be able to say this morning whether it was natural cure or not, wouldn't we? So maybe if I'm still poorly tonight, which I will be, because it's not going to go away any time soon because I die in. Maybe I'll try that tonight. <laughs> I bought a pack of tarot for £2. I'm personally not remotely tarot minded, but they do tend to sell quite well for those people who are. I'm not sure I believe in being able to tell your future 
by looking at cards. And furthermore, I'm not sure I want to know my future. It'd take all the fun out of life. Wouldn't it? Imagine if imagine if you did your tarot and it and actually, so actually you've only got them three minutes left to live. You'd be like, oh, bugger, I wish I hadn't known. I'd have enjoyed the three minutes much more if I hadn't known what's coming. Uh, Claire King says it's onion. Put onions in your socks. It's a good job I sleep alone, isn't it? It'd be very popular with me. <laughs> socks full of onions. <laughs> You don't want to attract the kind of man who gets turned on by by onions in your socks, do you? Karen says, I'm rarely ill, but when I am, I'm like you, Diane. Exactly. I'm I'm very, very rarely ill. I'm full of aches and pains all the time because I'm an old lady, but I very rarely actually have any any sickness. But when I do, I really milk it. I'm like, oh, Diane, everybody has to feel sorry for me. <laughs> Lisa Fenton, good morning. Uh... Vix is all encompassing medicine. Runny nose, Vix. Black eye, Vix. Bleeding from an artery, Vix. Ouch. <laughs> First defense spray kills the virus. It's brilliant. Okay, maybe I'll try some of that. I'll, I'll try anything, me. Anything apart from onions in my socks, I'm afraid, Claire. I'm not giving that a go. Oh, dear. I'm loving this. Lady got this out while I was buying the Moomin's pictures. And she went, I suppose I better put this out. I don't think it's worth anything. And her daughter went, okay. And I went, what is it? And she said, oh, it's, um, it's just some old Monopoly pieces. And she wanted a pound. And when they say it's just some old Monopoly pieces, they really mean it. This is the World War II Monopoly. There's no board. I have no board, which is just as well, because if I did, Nick Hills would probably rip it and have and sell it. It's a, it's a kind of a long, long, long going joke. But yeah, these are the original World War Two Monopoly pieces. I'm just desperately trying not to drop all. Where the pieces are actually just wooden supports with a picture in there. So um, what's that one? That's the iron. There's the battleship. Uh, there's the boot. <laughs> all the little houses are wood. The original chance card, speeding fine, fifteen pounds. Have you noticed how the prices have never gone up in Monopoly? Monopoly start the, the houses in Monopoly, are the most affordable houses in the world now. Caroline from Celtic Trade has found a new Radley bag, but is cautious to list it. Why is why is she cautious to list it, Sib K? Why why is she unsure about it? Claire King says, I don't know if onion works. She does know that fresh ginger. Honey, fresh lemon and green tea simmered and drunk does. It sounds vile. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I know you're trying to be helpful and I do appreciate trying to be helpful, but I'm such a baby. Natalie bought me a lem sip last night and I practically cried while I was drinking it because it's nasty and I don't like it. <laughs> Adam Kelsey says the World War II version didn't have a board. They used the cardboard to make the spitfires. <laughs> and Brian says... Um, that old version had the get out of dungeon free card. Thank you, Karin, for dealing with that. Thank you. <laughs> right, I've not had any trouble listing Radley bags. I sell Radley bags all the time and I've never had anyone contact me and say that I shouldn't. Not a, not a flicker. So I'm puzzled as to why people are worrying about that. I've um, never had any issues. Um, also, I would probably know if a Radley bag was real or not. So I don't know if I'd be able to... Maybe you and I could have a, a video chat, Heather, and I can have a look for you because um, I'd be fairly confident about whether one was real or not. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've not had any any issues selling Radley bags. I sell them all the time and I've never had any contact from anyone saying I shouldn't. So, hmm. Okay, so yeah, uh, it's even got the old money in there. Look, all the, And I don't know if it's all here without sitting and checking it, but there's a rocking horse he's come off his base his base is there as well and there's certainly not a rocking horse in the modern sets is there so um yeah really pleased with that for a quid be interesting to check it and find out what's there and what isn't and i've no idea of value because like i said having no board or whatever makes it more difficult but also it comes in a really old bluebird toffees tin look so perhaps that's got some value as well who knows oh dear are you off, Brian? Are you saying goodbye to me or goodbye to somebody else? I think I've missed a bit. Sorry, I'm trying to scroll back and I think I've missed a bit. Uh, dice up a red onion. Oh, it's Adam that's going. Sorry, bye, Adam. Dice up a red onion, cover with two dessert spoons of clear honey, cover and cling film and do not put it in the fridge. 
but it's all gone it's all scrolled off onion will release its juices I have a couple of it sounds vile i'm a baby i don't <laughs> I am, i'm the biggest kid in the world it sounds awful onion in honey sounds like 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 something to do as a punishment Oh, Peter Ray's in an indie chick. I'm sorry if I've missed anyone. Gashead's in. Hi, Gashead. You've been to the same one that made that I was at? I, I got back about half an hour ago. Maybe slightly more. No, maybe a bit more. Maybe like maybe an hour, actually. Have a couple of teaspoons of the liquid. Don't eat the onion. Oh, well, that's, I suppose that's mildly better. But even so, I'd be like... <laughs> Big baby. Big baby. Clothing-wise, this one... What? I don't even know what I've got here. I don't remember paying for this. I think I've been stealing. I don't remember paying for this one. I'm wondering if I picked up an armful of stuff and she gave me a price for all of it, maybe. Because I don't remember paying for this one. It may be an armful. It's white stuff, so I can imagine why. I, yeah, I am poorly sick, indie chick, yeah. I was going to go on to Puxton Park, but it's cancelled. I didn't know Puxton Park had started up again. Lisa Van says security. I don't remember. I may have, must have paid for it. I, I don't tend to steal. It might come back to me, but it's white stuff. So if I stole it, well done me. At least I'm not stealing Primark, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Brian says, my grandfather always tries to get me to take honey and vinegar mixed when I have a cough or sore throat. I'd rather just die, to be honest. That's how I feel about the onion. Sorry, Lisa, I know you're trying to be helpful, but the onion and vinegar, I'd rather, rather just die. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Um, this was pound. This is monsoon. This is beautiful. I think it's angora. I've certainly sold these before very, very quickly. It's a little shrug. Uh, yeah, eighty percent angora, twenty percent nylon. So a little, uh, little grey angora shrug for covering up the uh, the bingo wings of ladies of a certain age, and that was a quid. So that's an absolute bargain, definitely. Also, a quid from the same lady. And Isaac, how much do you get for the, how much do you expect to get for the stolen white stuff blows? Um, I usually put white stuff on at about twelve ninety nine to fourteen ninety nine, depending on what it is. And I'm always always have best offers, but I wouldn't usually take less than a tenner. Uh, oh my god, we've got hello hello going on in the chat. I shall say this on advance. Um yeah, from the same lady, this is cashmere. It's from a brand called The Cashmere Company, of whom I have what I've never watered of, said she very poshly. Um, funny enough, the label says 100% cashmere. It feels lovely. It really does feel nice. I don't seem to see a size. Oh, it's a size 38. What's a Euro 38? Is that a 12? Is that a 12, maybe? But yeah, that's lovely. It feels really nice. So that was good for a quid. Pure 100% cashmere for a quid. Karen says she's got her first jewels item on 30, 100% wool skirt. I saw a really nice hob skirt, but the lady wanted £17. I was like, you do know you're at a car boot sale, yeah? You, have, you, have you accidentally, th do you think you've walked in through the gates of Cabot Circus or something by mistake? Crazy lady. Sue's pals of shame wants to know if anybody... <coughs> oh, ka -ching, so I, I forgot to put it on mute. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Is anybody going to the Liverpool meetup? She doesn't do Instagram for her to look. So anybody, anybody here going to Liverpool meetup? I believe it's in Browns. I don't know the date. I'm sorry. Uh, Indie Chick wants to know, do I stockpile winter stuff or list it as I buy it? She bought some jumpers today and she's wondering what to do for the best. I will list it as I buy it. If I put it away, it will never get listed. And by the time... Sorry, I've got burpees now. This is ridiculous. Coughing, sniffing, burping. I'm generally foul. Um, if I put stuff away, by the time I get around to listen, I've gone off, gone off it. I don't love it so much. So Hiccups and... Oh, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure somebody came in and I didn't say hello, so sorry about that. New Collector. Good morning, New Collector. Oh, it's the 28th of something. 20, is that 28th of April? Uh, from 1pm at Browns in Liverpool. Falling apart live, exactly. Bit, bits dropping off. <laughs> this, speaking of people picking up their first piece of anything ever, this is my first ever item from Cos. Natalie was hilarious this morning. She said, why did you buy it? And I said, sorry. She said, did you buy it just because? I was like, oh, God. Sometimes I'm ashamed. Sometimes I'm ashamed of these children. So, yeah, it's from Cos. It's an olive green tunic dress kind, kind of thing. Anybody think of any keywords, let me know, because my immediate thought on looking at that is blur. But, yeah, and it's, it's really nice, heavy quality. You can tell this is good quality stuff. And I paid three. 
so I've never seen cos before anywhere never seen them in the in the charity shop certainly never seen it at a car boot sale it's um, a bit chilly and damp there where it started raining in the car boot before I came home uh, lots of hellos going on Paul Mosley's joined us oh Carrie Lee's in hi Carrie um I don't think I've missed anyone else we do need a southwest meetup you're right that's that would be a brilliant idea a pair of hotter shoes for two pounds one pound two pound again look at them have they ever been worn maybe one time one time one up this time i've got to stop i've got to stop i've always gone mental sasga says is that draped straight crossover at the front let me have another luke as z would say let's have luke where's the front god it's horrible isn't it <laughs> it's got a draped a drapey neckline can you see that there we go kind of a drapey it's not a cat is it not it's not a cowl neckline is it it might, might be called a cowl neckline i'm not sure i'd probably just list it as a drape neckline <laughs> sib k says keywords i just stick log and look everywhere i've been known to put log and look into things that definitely aren't <laughs> uh laney ray's in because i can see people saying good morning too i didn't see her arrive but i can see people saying hello bingo neck <laughs> is that the, like the bingo is bingo neck that's what i've got i've got a bingo neck <laughs> Oh, this is uh, uh, Brian. This is Brian's idea. Look, dance nude in front of a coal fire whilst chugging rainwater and eating lemon rinds. It won't cure a cold, but you'll make friends with the neighbours. My neighbours that side of check. It's probably something they do there. <laughs> Three pounds for this one. This is Anne Harvey. It's a really nice cut stripy jumper, but it also came with matching pockety scarf. So <sighs> scarf with pockety endy bits is that, that there's there is a technique if you're looking for keywords for your listings come to carla pockety endy bits three quid quite like that three quid and from the same lady also three quid a pair of very little warm sketches so it's a strange thing at the car boot sale like i go oh, i don't know if i want to pay three quid and then i'm like you're being silly because if you saw that in a charity shop three quid you'd be delighted hello anthony <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Sorry. So yes, get just the three quid from the same lady. I'm dying. I am actually dying. I didn't look to see what the kaching was. Shall I have a look? Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Oh. Oh dear. Sorry. Sib says scarf with pockets. Keyword pretentious people. <laughs> Okay, uh, it was an offer. Oh God, I'm dying, I'm dying for me. It was an offer. Oh yes, I'd like quite like an offer on that because I've had that for a long time. Yes, yes I will. There we go. That was a £5.99 offer on a £7.99 uh, item that I've had for a very long time. So yes, I will. Not exactly big money, but at least it's going to be something. There goes the other ka -ching. Sorry guys, I should have warned you that was going to happen. <laughs> Uh, Gas heads out off out food shopping with the missus. Watch the rest later. If you could bring me some food shopping, that'd be great. If you get me some flu plus, get me some flu plus, mate, that'd be fucking brilliant. <laughs> I've got to stop swearing. Way to demonetize the video. Keep on saying the F word. Sal's guest says, scarf with pockets keyword. Do you like to dress like an eight year old? <laughs> and Deborah Stevens in. Good morning, Deb. You should be asleep, shouldn't you? Oh, uh. Now anyway, Sib, you need to send me some popcorn. I pay more for a bag of six than you did for a box. What's the story with the popcorn, Sib? What have I missed? Anthony was not naked. Anthony, you're not naked, are you? No, what? It's because you're wearing camo. Sib K is finding it hilarious to say you're naked. If, it, if the camo is supposed to make him invisible, not make him look really? naked. Yeah, I'm like, I'm naked. <laughs> Anthony's never naked. I mean, presumably sometimes he's naked, but he doesn't wander around the house naked. <laughs> Did you put clothes on really quickly in case they could see you? <laughs> Imagine if I went, Anthony, are you naked? And you were, and you thought it was because they could see you. <laughs> really pleased with these. Anybody remember Miffy? Miffy by Dick Bruno. These are, this is a Ted Smart edition. It's a full set of 16. They should sell for around about the 20 quid. They, they don't look like they've ever been read. I don't think they've ever opened them. You know, when, when you open them, they've still got that, that... You know that feeling when pages haven't ever been separated before? Um, 16 of them. 
I asked her how much she wanted. She said, oh, I don't know. How many is there? And she started counting through. And I thought, oh, here we go. She's going to say a pound each, 60. I would take £2.50 for the lot. I said, yes, yes, you will. So £2.50 for a full set. They'll sell for 20-ish. Quite pleased with those. And my last item is almost as much of a mystery to me as it is to you guys. Because I could not get out the box to look at it at the car boot sale. Sim says Anthony's just put those trousers on. No, he definitely came upstairs wearing those trousers. Neville's in. Hi, Neville. Neville says 67 watching, only 7 likes. Hit the like, peeps. Thank you, Neville. You know, look, Anthony apparently no longer has trousers on, Sim K. So if you carry on talking about Anthony's trousers, he's going to come through and terrify you. Stop it! It's too late. <laughs> now my video is going to get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> no, YouTube do not give you more for having men in your pants in their pants on. That's not how it works. I've got no men in my pants. You've got no men in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's, it's all gone a bit. It's all gone a bit Pete, hasn't it? It's all gone a bit Pete Tong. Oh dear. Treasure, Treasure Pirate says, Ah, my eyes, those pink shreddies. <laughs> <laughs> please don't come back out without them on please don't so wouldn't see the funny side <laughs> right I don't think I, I like I said this I saw it on the on the table in its box I thought I'd like to see that I couldn't get out of its box I still can't get it we may never know what it is I may have paid two quid for something that's never going to come out of its box I can't get it out of that damn box Okay, come on. There's got to be some kind of trick for this. I don't want to ruin the box because this is one of those things that the box increases the value. This is ridiculous. Oh, Tess Southwest says, Hi, Carla. Great. Oh, I got it. Had great haul this morning. 12 cash meter jumpers for £6. That is amazing. Well done. <laughs> and uh, Brian's building a house just outside Vegas. We'll all come. I, I'm not allowed to go to Vegas. I'd come back bankrupt. It is. What it is, is a Disney snow globe. Very much hoping it's not broken. <laughs> it's, for, it's been sellotaped into its packaging for some reason. So let's hope it's not smashed when they finally get in there. Now, I know Disney snow globes sell well. It isn't, it's, it's in perfect condition. I know they sell well. You can very rarely get them for this price. I paid two pounds. They wanted three and I went, mm, put it down and the wife went, I'll take two. And the husband went, mm. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so that's really quite nice. I don't know if it will have a... It's not a limited edition as far as I can tell because it doesn't seem to have any numbers or anything anywhere. But, you know, a Disney Tigger snow globe in its original box. Two quid. Really pleased with that. Really pleased. Whether I can get it back into its original box, you've just seen me struggle for 20 minutes to get it out, and now I've got to try and get the damn thing back in. I understand now why they sellotaped it. Perhaps I won't try. I'm going to have to take a photo of it anyway, so perhaps I won't bother trying to get it back in until after I photographed it for listing, eh? Always thinking, listen to your dad. And that's it. That is the whole haul, the haul and all of the haul. The haul, the whole haul, and all of the haul. There we go, I'm going there. Uh, Brian says, fun fact, as a former Disney store manager, I can tell you the glitter water and tiny shards of glass are a hoot to clean up when a customer drops one. Yeah, I bet they are. I bet whenever a customer dropped one, you guys were competing to be the one who did the clean up. Uh, I don't know if I've missed it. Yeah, Karen says there's a, ch there's a challenge for Hermes not to smash. I sent, do you remember last week I bought, uh, might be the week before, I bought a black... Disney Tigger mug. It was, the, it was the week before. It was the week that I got all of the mugs and I bought this separate black Tigger mug, a 3D Tigger mug for 50p from another lady and I sold that for £14. The mug was about yay big. By the time I parceled it and sent it, the box was yay big. <laughs> it was bloody huge. It was literally, by the time I finished parceling it, it was just within the guidelines for a Hermes small parcel and only just... <laughs> 
And the lady has sent me feedback saying, I would recommend this cellar to anyone. <laughs> so I obviously got there in one piece. She probably got bored unpacking it because I put bubble wrap around it. Then I put it into a bubble mailer. Then I put it into a box. Then I put that box into another box around the side of that. I packed it all with carrier bags. So bear in mind, carrier bags are 10 pence each now. She probably had about 60, pounds of the, 60 pence of the free carrier bags as well. It was huge, but it got there in one piece. I was quite proud of myself. <laughs> Right, uh, people in the chat seem to be arranging a meetup, so that sounds interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Shall I come and bring my germs? Would you all like me to bring your ger my germs to your meetup? <sighs> bring my plague germs. Oh, I'm dying. Shell Sturini says we could all go to Rewind Festival in Hen. I, I couldn't go to a festival. I'm ancient. I'm 127 years old. I cannot go to a festival. I can barely walk in the mornings when I slept in a bed. Imagine what it'd be like having slept in a sleeping bag. I would have to enjoy my entire festival from the ground where I had fallen. Very old lady. Yeah, Carrie says can't do tents. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Here we go with the sniffles again. <coughs> There are 65 people watching me going, oh, good day, Diane. So thank you very much, 65 people. I appreciate you coming in. I'm sorry it's a bit blur this morning. <laughs> I'm going to find some drugs in a bit. Not, um, not, you know, not, nothing very, so probably just some flu plus. Nothing very, um, exotic. <laughs> Suzanne says I don't look 127 years old. You've not got the close-up. <laughs> uh... Brian says, same, Carl, I'm a 120-year-old man trapped in a 30-something's body. The problem is I'm a 44-year-old woman trapped in a 127-year-old's body. <laughs> Shell Strony says, get away, Carl, it's an 80s festival. Hire a little mushroom that comes with a bed or something. Do they do big mushrooms? I need a toadstool. Um, Indie Chick wants to know how sales have been. It's been fairly slow, actually. For, for um, Yeah, it's. I think Easter gets in the way. People go away for Easter. I think the thing is, you can always think of a reason why sales are slow. And sometimes it's just that what you're selling is shit. <laughs> Janet Plant says since she's gone full time, she's not had a cold stroke flu. See, it's, it's the, the less time you spend with other people, the less chance you've got of getting ill. Two paracetamol and a 600 milligram of ibuprofen every six hours. I've had some ibuprofen this morning. I haven't had any paracetamol yet. Deb Stevens, where did you get cold from? You were okay Friday. Well, you're the last person I spent any time with, Deb Stevens. So who are we blaming? You. You obviously gave me germs. You may not have a cold yourself, but working in a public place as you do and touching things that other folk what I've touched all the time, probably carrying around an arsenal of germs which you fired at me Friday and made me poorly sick. That's what happened. <coughs> Um, Karen says, I think sales are what they are. No rhyme or reason to good or bad sales. I do think, like I said, holiday periods are difficult. Like I said, a lot of people go away for Easter and then they're skint when they come back. But it's just easy to make um, they make excuses, isn't it? Sib says, sales are down 20, 28% on last month. I don't have a look at my percentages. I just know if I'm skint. If I'm skint, then it's not good. Mind you, I've been uh, spending like it's going out of fashion recently. So that's got to stop. I've got a book, a, a, not a book on how to not spend your money, but a book to track your spending, which I should probably start using. And maybe, it, God, I look weird without my glasses on. Because on, because the bottom screen is obviously a couple of seconds behind. I'm on the bottom screen. I'm seeing it at the time you're seeing it. I've just seen me without my glasses on, which is not a sight I've ever seen, because when I take my glasses off, I can't see. Does that make sense to you? So although I, I take my glasses off and I look in the mirror... I only ever see the close-up me. I've never seen me from this distance because I'm, I'm a blur. So to see me on the screen, with, I, that's, how, that's how I would look. I've worn glasses my whole life. That's how I look without them. That's really weird. <coughs> Deb Stevens said, I got my germs from the Reese's chocolate that I had in the post and didn't share. Well, Saz Guest is in the chat, Deb. So why don't you tell her that she... Um, that she made me sick and see what she says. She'll come around and beat you up. She made me sick. She's a wonderful, wonderful person who sent me Reese's. I have to say, Deb Stevens gave me an Easter egg the other night and that did make me feel a bit better last night when I was in bed feeling poorly sick. I did think that the Easter egg was definitely helping. Can I have surgery? Is that on my 127-year-old body or my bingo wings or my bingo chin or 
or my eyes? What were we talking about? Which bit of me, is, which rubbish part of me are we talking about sorting out? <laughs> yeah, Sazga says she didn't send me any germs. Lady Lolly's just back from the car boot. She's Hank Marvin. On my eyes, going on. I, I don't know if I could have surgery on my eyes. I suppose I, I, I've only got basic short sightedness. I don't think I've got anything complicated, so I probably could. I just realised there's a load of rubbish on the floor. All that stuff on the floor was not there when I walked in the room, so the dogs already scattered stuff as they walked past. Oh dear. So, um, I have to. <laughs> Heather says I could go for whole body replacement surgery or start again, really. <laughs> <clears throat> it's, it, you know they talk about if you could go back what would you do differently i would not ruin my body and there we go if i could go back in time and do something differently i would eat differently i would not ruin my body that's what i would do if i could i wouldn't change anything any of my other life decisions but then it's interesting isn't it because if i change that life decision it would automatically have an impact on the other routes my life has taken wouldn't it because for example if I didn't get fat, then perhaps I wouldn't have been attracted to or been or have been attractive to the men that I met. And therefore, I wouldn't have had the same children that I've got and so on and so forth. It's interest. It's an interesting thought. Brian says, I'm the only one in my entire family without glasses, including young kids. The trade off was four cancer battles. The thing is, Brian, the more you fight the same battle, the more you know how to do it. So the stronger you're getting, if you see what I mean. Every time, every time you've, you've got more weapons in your arsenal because you know how this goes. I think, I think that makes sense. <coughs> Karen said, Karen says she needs a new pancreas, knee, shoulder and more hair. There was a load of wigs at car boot sales where I nearly bought them because I've sold a wig in the past and done well. But they looked quite... Um, vintage and i don't know if people still buy vintage wigs i expect some people do i don't know what i've missed karen says wow number five no carla please keep going number five what karen what have i missed there darling i'm sorry i've i've, I've skipped a bit somewhere lisa says if you cut a piece of cake in uh, sorry brian says lisa if you cut a piece of cake in half you can eat twice as much because it's half the calories absolutely that's how that works and uh, Dove Steve's is trying to persuade Sal's guest to send her Reese's, which I'm sure Sal's guest won't do because I would be devastated. She's getting in on my live stream and trying to pinch my Reese's from people. That's so mean. So mean. Marjorie Dawes, Fat Fighters. Dust. Anybody? No? Lady Ray says, I'm the same, Carlo. I don't get why I didn't do this years ago, but what would I have missed out on if I'd not got as big as I did? Positives and everything. It's nice. It's interesting to think of the impact that it might have made to your life. It might, my, my life might have been completely different if I hadn't got fat. And I don't regret most of my life. I wouldn't, most of my life, I wouldn't change at all. So, <clears throat> yeah, interesting. Interesting concept that a little thing like, you know, maybe if I'd stayed off the burgers, my life would be different. I, don't, I still don't know what the five was, Karen. I'm sorry. I don't know what time it is. I don't know how long I've been online. The leg of the tripod. I've only been on 38 minutes. It must have been a small haul. And yet I felt quite positive about my haul. Just not not tons of it. I didn't get anything <coughs> from the um, from the filler bag for a pound guy today. Um, one, of the, one of the guys who do that wasn't there. I thought, well, I didn't buy anything of him. And the other guy, I had a quick rummage. There wasn't anything that particularly excited me. Although he did say he's got some more Disney mugs for me next week. So... So that'll be good. But I've yeah, most of what I bought today has been more than I usually spend at the car boot. My car boot purchases are usually a pound or fifty P. And almost everything that I'm looking at here was considerably more than that today, sort of around the three pound, four pound, ten pound mark. So that's unusual for me. I don't know what um what Ryan would say if I notice Ryan's not here, and presumably he's at his car boot cell. So. Sasga says, Deborah Stevens, when you start giving me entertainment and fab money making tips every week, we'll see. I'm not sure I give you money making tips. I don't about the entertainment either, to be honest. Sales. Karen's had five sales while I've been online. What is it with you people? I come online and you all go and buy from Karen's shop. Right, so if I come into Karen's live stream, does that, is that how it'll work for me? I go and sit, when the Karen's live streaming, I go and sit there and chat with her and my, my ka-chings happen as, as a result. I'll be waiting. Psychota says, can you say hi to me? Yes, I can. Hi. There you go. I probably pronounced your name horribly wrong. Lainey Ray says, imagine the Reese's you'd have missed out. Do you know I've only been eating Reese's for about six months? Before that, the idea of a peanut butter chocolate product was revolting. And then about six months ago, I tried one and I was like, this is very nice. I've made a mistake. 
I've made a horrible mistake my whole life by avoiding this. <laughs> oh, Car sorry, Karin and Karen. I've got mixed up between the two of you. Karen says, yes, I if I go and watch her live stream, then I'll get my ka -chings. It's not Karin's. I'll watch Karin's as well. I'm not mean. If I'm around, I if, I if I'm around and you're live, I watch whoever's there. I, I quite happily watch everyone. Missy Moo says, I always get good ka while watching you too. Great, everybody's getting the good ka -chings. Where are my ka -chings? It's not fair. Proper, proper tantrum. And Brian says, Carla, thank goodness you haven't had five cells since you've been on. We'd all be deaf. <laughs> deaf, short sighted, ancient, falling apart. Generally, I'm just, you know, bumping people off right, left and centre. Lainey Ray says, my daughter hate, hates nuts but loves Nutella. Well, there's no, you wouldn't want the crunchy kind, would you? Lex Oliver, oh man, how long have you been on? I've been on 40 minutes and I'm about to go, Lex. I'm sorry. I don't do... I'm 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 sorry if you guys for you guys if it would be easier if I did it at the same time every Sunday I I I can't I don't know what time I'll be back, and I'm not very good at nailing myself down to a time. I I enjoy doing this because of the opportunist moment of it really, and and I think if it was a nailed down slot, I think I'd start resenting it. Does that make sense? I think I'd be like oh, I've got to go home and do my live stream now. So um, and certainly come the summer. <coughs> I will hopefully be doing the big car boots are and the oh, I've got a message. Um so I will not be able to be on so early then. So that would prevent me setting a, a regular time. Good god, I'm so sorry. Oh, you know that uh, the offer that I accepted earlier on she wants to cancel the sale, she's just realised it's not the right size. Oh well, there we go. My kaching that deafened you all was completely pointless. <laughs> Tom says R A P my ears. Sorry about that. Yeah, Peter says quite a lot of people throughout the week do random lives. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, Monsieur said, "Okay, we resent every Thursday afternoon. What happens on a Thursday afternoon?" Ads. Ads is Thursday, but I don't know what time he is on a Thursday. I don't know what time he does. Yeah, Karen says at least they messaged. Yeah. Yes, I've had a couple of annoying returns last week. One that says that something is certainly not in the quality I said it was, and I know damn well it is. And another one who says that they don't want the item I sent because of the extreme damage to the front. And they've sent a picture of the extreme damage, which is a slight crease where it's been in the mail. What can you do? You just go, okay, no problem. No problem. No problem to all of them <laughs> Heather's had two high end returns sorry about that it's, it's been a bad week yeah yeah Sif say as goes live I'll do at 1pm or just for see I'm always out on a Thursday afternoon Thursday afternoon I take my parents shopping so um, so I'm never here for Ads' live stream sadly and Peter says Sib K lives in Ads' head do you think Sib K is not a real person he could be Ads' alter ego this is a possibility yeah, Brian, don't say that. That's exactly how you jinx yourself, mate. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to go and um, put all this away. I didn't even make my bed this morning. How slack is that? I did not make my bed. Partly because the dog was still in it and I felt a bit mean to her from the dog out to make the bed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm going to make my bed. And then I'm going out this afternoon with a friend. So I have to go and... Primp and try and make myself look a bit less lurgified. Oh dear. I need my fringe cut again, don't I? My fringe grows like weeds. It's ridiculous. Brian says, wait, I thought we all knew Siv K wasn't an actual person. <laughs> we are all Sib K. I'm Spartacus. <laughs> I'm Sib K. Right, we should all change our names. We should all change our YouTube name news names to some variation on the name Sib K. <laughs> I challenge you all to change your YouTube no usernames to some variation of Sib K and just wander into other people's chats and just confuse everyone. Nobody will know who anyone is. Brian, I am just one person. I am a free man! <laughs> Lisa, I'm Brian and so is my wife. Yes, I'm Brian! <laughs> <laughs> oh god Sib K is a little gnome that lives in a charity shop Sib K is a little troll that lives in a charity shop one of those big shock headed trolls with the orange hair 
Right, I'm going to go. Have a lovely Sunday, everybody. I'm going to go and sort my life out. <laughs> I feel like I can manage that. Heather says she is Siberia's Catastrophe. That's a great name. Change your name to Siberia's Catastrophe. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and um, sort my life out in, in so many ways as possible. Thank you. Um, thanks, Brian, again for your super chat. That was lovely of you. Thank you. Uh, Lex Oliver's going to watch me on repeat. <laughs> just just on a on a roll all through the day just blaring away in the background like some kind of terrible terrible kind of answer phone message and everybody have a lovely sunday uh brian um all the best with your new battle which i am very confident that you will win very confident and i will i've got a sue, sue says i've got to go and buy some ec i can't even pronounce echinacea ech echinacea 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 whatever that i can't pronounce it let alone shop for it everybody have a good day i will um speak to you all soon take care bye for now bye <laughs>